Bra Fitting 101. Hello, today I'm going to be talking about bra fitting. Did you know that 80% of women do not wear the correct size bra? And why it is so amazing to me is because I am extremely petite. I happen to only be about 4'10", maybe 4'10", 4'11". My bra size, I've always been wearing 32 A's because that is generally the smallest size sold in stores. So recently I was contacted by the Little Bra Company and they offered to send me a few of their bras to try on to see what fit me. And I was very surprised with the answer so I was excited to share with you a few facts about bra fitting and about finding the correct size bra and what that can change for you. Okay, so please forgive me being that silly earlier. I just wanted to break some ice because this is going to be a different kind of video. Um, I am talking about bras, which do tend to be really personal. So, you know, I just want to be kind of like loose and silly about it. So, I just want to start off talking about my backstory regarding bras and bra fitting. As I mentioned before, I'm really petite, so it's very difficult for me to find things that fit, including undergarments. As every woman knows, her bra can really change how she sees herself as a woman and her self-image, her body image. So much of the media concentrates on the size of your boobs and uh, having not a very large chest. I always just assumed that things like cleavage or, you know, a correctly fitting bra were these like anonymous ideas floating around in the air that I would never actually be able to attain. So in terms of bra fitting, for the majority of the population of women, it's totally cool and appropriate for you to go to a lingerie department and say like a department store and get fitted for your correct bra size. What they'll do is they'll like measure your band and measure your bust size and like do some calculations and they'll tell you what they recommend. Well I find that for me because I am so small, I have a very small frame that those numbers don't mathematically really work for me. So what I do find to work, just for me personally and probably for other women who are also very petite, is I take a measuring tape. If you measure around above your chest, that should give you your correct man size. My measurement is 28. So um, assuming that I have been wearing 32s, which are the smallest that are available in the market, uh, none of my bras have fit. And I didn't realize that, and I didn't really realize what that could mean. But actually, the most common thing that women have an issue with with their bras fitting incorrectly is the band size being larger than what they should wear. They usually go down a cup size and up in their band size, which doesn't give you the kind of support that you need. And for me, it also doesn't give me the cleavage that I realized I could have. No comments about me still not having cleavage. I realize it's not a lot. But I work with what I got, right? Everybody should. To start off, I'm actually going to put on a few bras over my tank top to show you how they fit. Because uh, I just don't really feel comfortable in my nakedness in front of y'all. So, uh... <laughs> Hopefully this will be a little bit funny. Okay, so this is a Victoria's Secret BioFit bra in a 32A, which was uh, previously one of my most favorite bras, and I was really excited because I thought it fit. Well, okay, I know this is weird a little bit, like, hey, look at my boobies, but as you can see, it's not doing a whole lot for me in the chestal area. Still pretty flat. And if you can see from the side, do you see how far out I can pull this band? You're only supposed to be able to pull this two fingers worth, which is like that. <laughs> Not like this. Plus, I'm wearing it on the smallest hook. Really outrageous. This ends up wrapping around almost to like the sides of my entire body. And that's not going to do anything for the girls. Aren't your ladies supposed to be like front and perky and cleavagey and lifted? But if they're like too far wide, they're just gonna like 
sit there. But like I said, that's all I thought was available to me. So, not good. You're not going to get the kind of support, you're not going to get the kind of lift you need, and also, if this is really loose, you're not going to get any help. You know what I mean? Looking nice under clothing, that sort of thing. So yeah, far too big, not going to work out. So this bra is the, the Little Bra Company Sasha Bra. It's a strapless in a size 32A, which is the size that I had been wearing from, you know, just going to Victoria's Secret or any other lingerie store. That's what I've been wearing. And as you can see, this one actually does do a little bit more up here. But see how, like, this is pulling up? That happens because this band is too loose as well. It is smaller than my Victoria's Secret one. Um, the little bra company, they say that their sizes run petite, so if you get a bra from them, you should size size up one, I believe. So if you usually get a 32, you should maybe try a 34. But that's not always the case. For me, obviously, you know, this is more than two fingers again. And I put this on the smallest hook, which is not the best idea to do if you're wearing a brand new bra. But if you see this part pulling up from these straps, you might be having the shoulder straps too tight. Most of, like, I would say 90% of your support should come around here, and only 10% from the straps. These should just be loose enough to be comfortable, otherwise you could even get, like, permanent ditches in your shoulders, which is just kind of gross. So again, not my size. Okay, so this one is again the Sasha, the same style as the last bra I tried on. This is in a size 30A, which I was almost certain would be my correct size because it's a size down from the 32s I'd been wearing. They run a size smaller, so I thought that, of course, 30A should work. But, I mean, again, it looks better up here than the others. But this is on the smallest size. Hook, again. And this is more than two fingers worth. See that? So I was like, oh my goodness. So then I asked the little bra company to send me size down even further. <laughs> okay, so please don't laugh. <laughs> I decided to go a size smaller and thinking naturally, since I had the no with 32A and 30A, I decided to try the 28A. and. Oh my goodness, this is like cutting my boobs in half. This is too small for me. Which like, yay, that's awesome. I've never had that happen before. But at the same time, look, the band fits perfectly. And this is even on the third hook. So when it stretches out, I could wear it on the middle one, which is also amazing and it also has never happened before. But I'm feeling a little um inappropriate. <laughs> Uh, it, it's it's sort of cutting into my chest right here. So I'm gonna try the 28B. Okay, so dun dun dun, dun my triumphant song. This is the 28B and it fits perfectly. It doesn't um, squeeze my boobies so much that it cuts off, you know, the the shape of the breast tissue and it doesn't pull out too far. And I have some cleavage even though I'm not even using straps, so obviously, like I said before, the importance of most of the support coming from the band is finally there. And the crazy thing is after I tried on these bras, and then when I tried to wear my older bras, I just couldn't. <laughs> they all felt so awkward and large, and I noticed all of these things about proportions. So. I want to mention something about cup sizes. Cup sizes are proportionate to band sizes. So say you have a 32A, that A cup is not going to be the same on a 30A. It actually goes one down. So a 32 double A, the cup part, is going to be the same as a 30A. So let me demonstrate that for you. It was really shocking to me to end up as a 28B because my whole life I thought I was like an A to a double A, but it was just because I was wearing the incorrect band size in the first place. So from the little bra company, the first one they had sent me was a size 32A, which is this one right here. And I don't know if you can see this on camera very well, but if you compare it to the 30A, the cup is actually smaller. 
This cup is bigger, this is smaller. Although they're both A cups. And if you go down one more, this is the 28A. If you compare that to the 32, can you see the difference there? It's a lot bigger. Like it's two cup sizes bigger, which is pretty incredible. So that whole idea goes also if you have bigger cup sizes. A lot of people who are, say, uh, 34B or think they're a 34B might actually be a 32C and they actually probably should wear the 32C because they're going to get the kind of support that they need. And it's not a matter of like making yourself feel better by like, oh, oh I have a bigger cup size. It's just that most people honestly wear the wrong bra size. So here's the thing. If you wear a band that is too big, things start to get a little more affected by gravity. If you have a band that's too tight, that can be a problem too. That's not usually the problem, but that could be a problem too because the fat on the sides, it can like accumulate and uh, stay there permanently. Or like I said, if you put the straps too tight, it can dig marks into your shoulders. So what you can do to avoid that is first of all absolutely make sure you're wearing the correct bra and when you put it on, this is another little bra company bra in Lucia, it's very pretty. What you're gonna do is you put it on and you lean forward and actually scoop your boob into the bra on both sides and then you lift up when you're up the girls should be nice and in place where they should be. If this cup is in too far, then that breast tissue is going to be cut in half and some of that can migrate to the back. So people have actually found that a lot of women who end up changing to the correct bra size will actually find that their boobs get a little bit bigger because that breast tissue <laughs> goes in the correct spot. That's always good, right? One of my really good resources that I went to was my friend Shannon, who actually worked as the manager of a lingerie department. She measured me to be a 28 as well, and then that just made me angry because I was like, where in the world am I going to find a 28? So I just keep wearing my bras because where else am I going to find anything that fits? Which makes me super glad that there are companies like the Little Bra Company where they go all the way down to a 28A which is too small for me and there aren't a whole lot of people I've met in my life who are more petite than I am so for you girls out there who feel like you know being a 32 is really difficult uh, yeah I relate to that and um, you should definitely look into finding the correct size bra because they make them you can find it you just have to look a little harder but it is so worth it to find the correct bra size I do want to mention that Victoria's Secret has recently started carrying 30As as well. This is one bra that I got recently after I experienced my whole bra epiphany. Um, it's the Victoria's Secret Pink Push-Up and I think you can only order the 30s online. This is a 30A and the way it runs in comparison to the Little Bra Company bras is the 30 actually fits in between the 28 and 30 so it's pretty small. It's considerably smaller than the 30 in terms of the band. I will say that the cup, I don't think they size these as proportionately as the Little Bra Company does, because obviously Victoria's Secret doesn't specialize in petite sizes, but this gives me just about the biggest push-up I've ever found in a bra ever of all time. In conclusion, I found that wearing a smaller band size has done amazing things for me in terms of like getting more cleavage, getting more lift, more support. Having a strapless bra that actually fits me for once in my life is kind of nice. And now I just feel like I have to throw out all of my old bras. It's like, I don't know. I just feel like it's such a life-changing thing and I, I wanted to tell all you guys about it because I feel like everybody needs to know this. Everybody should be you know, wearing the correct size bra because it makes such a difference. Not only how you look with your clothes on, but just how you feel as a woman. You know, feeling like you are a woman. I always feel like I'm much younger than I am. I'm 25 right now, as for when this video is made, and a lot of people think that I'm like 16 sometimes, and it's like, part of the reason is because I didn't have the correct tools to help my appearance <laughs> to be more like a woman. So
So I just hope that you guys can take this information and that it'll help somehow in your journey to finding the correctly fitting clothes that you need. So, um, yep, I guess that's it. <laughs> if you have any more, like, um, maybe I'll call these Ask Miz, my little teacher glasses. If you have any more questions for Miz about fashion or how things fit, Maybe I can answer those in a future video, so please, in the comments, you know, send me an email, send me a message, and um, send me a request of things that you want to learn, and I will, I will try to teach you with my blush brush pointer. So thanks for watching, this is Jen from FromHeadToToe.com, and I will talk to you guys later.